Hi, this is Mike. Today we're going to look a little bit more closely at um, the fully sprinklered uh, the, the, the hoistway for elevators and the elevator machine room for the fire alarm aspect of it. Last time we got into the power a little bit, but today I'm going to elaborate a little bit more on what's happening with the fire alarm. So when you have a elevator machine room that has the fire sprinklers in it which would be right here on my drawing and your hoist way as well has got the sprinklers in it you're going to need four control four control elements this the, the four control circuits you're going to need are one for designated level recall alternate level recall the firefighter hat shunt trip and then you're going to have shunt trip supervision module this is all located inside of the elevator machine room and what you're going to you're going to have your heats close to your sprinkler heads um, typically uh, I believe we put them within 18 inches uh, we've always been safe with that so and then you're gonna have your smokes you know in between inside of the um, inside of the shaft itself you'll have your smoke and your heat and same thing we keep these within 18 inches of the uh, of the sprinkler head and we've never had any problems so coming down on your on your different floors and back this up a little bit coming down on your different floors you're gonna have smoke detectors in your elevator lobbies and you want to keep these smoke detectors within 21 yeah 21 feet um, of the center line of the elevator doors that's the uh, code right there so looking down there's a good chance you're going to be required to put in this drawing I didn't put the smokes and the heats in the pit but there's a good chance you're going to have to do the same thing in the pit that you did in the top of the elevator shaft. Um, and this all goes back to the uh, fire alarm control panel. Now on this, I didn't write it down, but this would be our alternate level for this example, and this would be the designated level. That'd be the two different levels that the elevator would recall to in the event of a fire or smoke anything to put the uh, any put anything to put this fire alarm control panel into alarm um, elevator lobby detectors are used for a purpose other than recall their actuation uh, must in initiate an alarm on the system most elevator lobby detectors will be used for area detection and must meet this requirement so I'm going to back this up and give you a visual of the typical fire alarm for sprinklered elevator machine room and a sprinklered hoistway. This is Mike. Thanks for watching.